When you come to add panels to your system, you'll be greeted by this menu here, where you can explore the full range of panels that we sell on the Midsummer Wholesale website. They're broken down into their manufacturers, as you can see here. And when you click on a specific panel, you'll be able to read a little bit more about its specifications, and you'll be able to see a little bit of price and stock information from the Midsummer website as well. Now, if you click on this Midsummer logo, you'll be able to visit the product page for that um, panel and you can read a little bit more information about um, the specifications and you can actually download some of the supporting material here as well, such as the data sheets and manuals. So once you've selected the panel that you want to use, you can go ahead and press select and you'll be brought to this screen here. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is the yellow line around the outside. That represents the 400 millimeter margin that you are required to leave around the edge of the roof as per MCS guidelines. So when we are adding our panels, we just want to make sure that we keep them within those boundaries. Now, there's a couple of ways to add panels to the roof. We can either drag them across individually from the left here, you can drag in a portrait panel or a landscape panel. And once you have a panel highlighted, you can actually use the arrow keys to draw out a little array like so. Once you have an array drawn out and those panels are connected together, you can actually move that around using this button in the top left. And to delete panels, you can either double click them or you can highlight them and just press delete on your keyboard. Or you can even hold shift and delete multiple like so. Now, another way to add panels to the roof is to auto populate it. So if your customer wants to make use of their entire roof space, then you've got these options up here. We can populate the roof with landscape panels or with portrait panels, and it will add on as many as it can. Now, from this stage here, we can also choose, uh, choose our mounting system. And you'll see over in the mounting system menu on the right, we've got three options to choose from. We've got Fasten Salt and Renew Salt, which are two sort of on roof rail mounted systems. And then there's GSE, which is the in roof uh, flush system there as well. We've also got a no mounting option for if that's ever applicable. Um, but as you'll be able to see, uh, EasyPV actually calculates exactly how much of each mounting component uh, is going to be required for this size of array. So again, you could move on from this page now, safe in the knowledge that EasyPV is going to add exactly how much mounting you need to your kit list for this installation. Now, you can see that if I actually have the panels in a landscape orientation, I can also choose whether the rails will run horizontally or vertically. Uh, I can also choose a preferred hook type and a preferred end cap color as well.